Hello and welcome to the 26th tutorial on the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we are going to look at skewing using the skew to action. This tutorial assumes you have done tutorial 5 if you haven't, don't worry there will be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project. There will be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just open our project. The skew to action allows you to basically skew relative to what its original skew status was. Um, because obviously skew by you can skew it multiple times maybe in a sequence, but skew to you can just do it the once with a certain set of values. So if you don't change the value then just try and skew it multiple times and nothing will happen. Very similar to the move by, move to, rotate by, rotate to, etc, etc. So let's just add our action. So we can do auto action equal to skew to Colon, colon, create. Now we specify the time. I'm going to put six seconds. Now we specify how much we want to skew. I'm going to put 70 and 50. Now we just run this action. So my sprite, run action. Put in our action. And now we can just run our application. There we have it, we had skewing using the skew2 action over a period of 6 seconds with 17 the X and 15 the Y. That's it for this tut tutorial, in the next tutorial we're going to look at how to play a sound effect. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support our sonar system or comment or just directly message us via YouTube. Also all the required links for the source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day.